We go beyond the podium tonight with the red wave that was more of a red ripple. The National Desk Chief Political Correspondent Scott Thuman looks at the possible reasons behind a disappointing night for Republicans. All right, well, plenty to digest and still a lot of figuring out to do. But if we're talking candidates, look here, Pennsylvania, a top Trump selection loses. Up north, New Hampshire, another Trump endorsement falls short. Down here in Georgia, one of Trump's favorite selections still duking it out. Accusations that the former president actually weakened some of that momentum for the predicted red wave. We will be in the majority and Nancy Pelosi will be in the minority. Republicans chalked up plenty of wins, but also more disappointments than expected. And some pointing the finger at one man in particular. They kept saying, well, he's good on nominations, but is he good on the general election? The New York Times writing since 2016, Trump's political style has resulted in more collateral damage for fellow conservatives than electoral success. He was the first president in decades to lose the House, the Senate and the White House within four years. Definitely not a Republican wave, that's for darn sure. And with many speculating Trump will kick off a third run at the White House next week, there are worries it could cost Republicans the Senate. There will be a runoff between Democrat Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker December 6th. For Republicans, it's eerily reminiscent of 2020, as Democrats flipped both seats and by default, the Senate itself. Voters fed up with Trump, part of that reason. The other lesson this election could be messaging. While Republicans harped on the country's economic woes, did they offer enough specific solutions? We have Joe Biden, who is the least popular president since Harry Truman, since presidential polling happened, and there wasn't a red wave. The Republican Party needs to do a really deep introspection look in the mirror right now because this is this is an absolute disaster. Wins or losses across this map, for better or worse, experts suggest that it was unmistakably shaped and steered by Trump. In Washington, Scott Thuman for The National Desk.